Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. What up, yo? I gotta come clean your kennel, buddy. Just clean the front, sanitize everything. Now I'm just, get down. Now I'm out here with Margo and Leo. See that, that's a big boy right there, y'all. Hey, Margo. Y'all remember how Leo was uh, acting at the cage when it was Leo and Cryptic in the cage and he fighting all at the cage and stuff and doing all that type of stuff with Margo. This is their first time being out together. I, I just let him out together, first time. So the shit you see behind the cage and all that type of stuff, that's not a dog's temperament, okay? Understand that. I know a lot of y'all be seeing shit behind the cage. You honestly think, oh, that dog is aggressive. Bro, no, it's not. That's a fucking dog behind the cage. Everybody know a dog behind the gate is scary. Everybody know. If you don't know that, then you obviously ain't never had a dog or never walked by somebody's house with a dog. That shit that be behind the cage is not the dog's temperament. That's not the dog's temperament. You got to know that. If you don't understand that, then I don't know what the hell to tell you. See a dog behind the cage doing all that barking and growling and all that extra shit. That is some cage. If you let him out, that ain't gonna be shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? I can't say that for other breeds, but I know this is my breed. It's the breed I study. This is genetics I put together personally. Um, I did the research, I took out the time. Put in all this effort. You guys to know that I ain't having shit at my house that's aggressive that'll bite a kid or a person. What, what's the point of that? Can you imagine one of my dogs doing some crazy shit and they like, we got it from him. You know what I'm saying? It's like raising a kid and he go to school fighting motherfuckers and shit. Oh, I'm taking him out to school. I'm trying to beat this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, my whole thing is, uh, so if y'all see behind the cage, that don't mean nothing. So, so, I just, just what I do every day, y'all. I practice spend time on my dogs, clean towns, and collect the bag. You know, the bag is here. This the bag. You see the bag, don't you? Look at that boy. That's a big boy. That's a bag right there. It's a beautiful boy. Even if I decide to keep this dude, this is Leo, y'all. I decided to keep him, bro. That is a bad. That's money off stud. And when he dropped him, he's gonna drop huge dogs. His mother is huge. And his daddy boned up. So, like, I don't know. I can't miss with him. And his temperament. You see how he is with Margo. I ain't messing with her. I ain't biting on her. I ain't wrestling with her. He ain't doing none of that type of stuff. He avoiding her, really. Margo, the one extra. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next scene. I gotta clean, uh, go through and clean this real quick and I'll start the video back up. Hey, Margo. Now you know, you're getting all tired and stuff. Trip, you gotta find somewhere cool and lay your tail down. I always be careful and mindful that you got a French board dog, man. I came to the shaded area because I know she went away the down. Well, I thought she did. These dogs, you ain't got to worry about that too much. <laughs> I love French boy dogs. They so cool, y'all. Come here, boy. Uh, a lot of people be thinking like the uh, XL bullies and shit, dangerous. I don't know where y'all got y'all dog from or where where those people got their dog from. <laughs> My dog's so damn chill. And they good with puppies, kids. Go back and watch the videos years ago. 
Y'all, like, if you if you were to on my, my channel, man, from day one, y'all know that my baby's been around my kids. Um, neighborhood kids and came to my house and picked the dogs up playing with them. And this Navy out, Navy running around, everything, like, I never had no problem. And if they show any sign of a problem, then they'll never be with me again. Um, if I brought you in here, I'll take you out, and it's that simple. Um, anytime a dog get dangerous or show signs of aggression with me, um, that's the end of that journey that we have together. You know what I'm saying? It's like having a son, and your son wake up one day and say, he, he, he can fight you, he can whoop your ass. What? You can do what, bro? Yeah. So, um, period. You know what I'm saying? Like the woman be saying, period. That's the end of that discussion. Uh, time for him to go. So, I have very good dogs around me. And this natural, y'all. Like, chill, Margo. Jeez, boy. These dogs be so hot driven. Y'all think when you get a French Bulldog that it's going to be some chill, lazy dog? I don't know why you, anybody think that. These dogs are way more chill than French Bulldogs, honestly. Way more. And yeah, they're just naturally healthier for real. But I got a French import, though, from Paris. But she's pretty good. She's pretty healthy. Margo. Can you just sit, find somewhere to chill for a second? Jeez. Leo, I mean Prince. I mean Leo, damn, his name is Leo. So that's, hey! 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 So when you don't have a adult dog out here, Come on, dude. See, if one, I had one of my adult dogs out here, he'd be chilling. Also, y'all, Roxy, she's got the promise of now. I think she did take. I think she did take, y'all. Uh... There you go, Margo. Lay down, chill. Look. You know how many steps you got to take for him? Hey, buddy. Chill, come on, Margo. It's real cool right here. Just lay down. Lay down. I'm gonna bring Margo in the crib, y'all. Um, I think having her in the crib is gonna make me do more. It's gonna make me do a little bit more, man, as far as just like, I always being conscious of like the dogs. Cause sometimes going to crib, I go in my room, I be forgetting, like, okay, let me go check on them. It's been a couple hours. But I check on these dogs every two, every two or three hours, but sometimes every hour. So whenever they come up my head, let me go check on them. I see some shit, pick it up, throw it away. It just makes it easier to clean later. You know what I'm saying? Like today, last night, I fed all the dogs, cleaned the kennels, went and I went to sleep, got up this morning, and there was so much shit everywhere. Come out. Probably about four to like three or four pounds of shit in each kennel. Right, that's what's going on. It's literally they shit literally that much. Hey baby. So if I would have just came out right before bed, because I ain't going to bed until really late. If I would have came out right before I went to bed, if I would have came out right before I went to bed and cleaned the kennel, and then when I got up this morning, it wouldn't have been as bad. But I decided to just wing it for like 10 hours. Like I ain't take on for about 10 hours. And there's a bunch of shit. What goes on, man? I know I can make more informative videos with just the camera being on me sitting at my desk and stuff like that, but I honestly like to talk to y'all while I spend time with the dogs, man. I know a lot of y'all be wanting to see the dogs anyway.
Good boy. Dude, so chill, bro. I love XL Lilacs. Like, the temperament on these dogs is just so, so, so relaxed and chill. Like, his tail up, so he's confident for sure. But it's just like, you know, they just, they just don't do too much. I like these dogs. So, yeah, this is Leo, the one y'all be seeing behind the cage acting up. Once you let him out, this is what goes on. Can you please relax? Yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with some back problems right now. I woke up, I was fine. Walked around the house, I was fine, shit like that, and then, um, I just walked outside and Anthony uh, started feeling away. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. This dude's huge, though. Uh, like, this is a puppy, y'all. He's huge. I got him being bigger than Navy almost. Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. It's a big dude, y'all. Uh, now in my lap. Now in my nah, I'm trying to kiss. My dog loves me though, man. I love her. I agree. I didn't even tell him to come here, y'all. Y'all ain't hear me say, come here, Leo, come here. I ain't do that, bro. Dude, literally just be. Oh. But y'all don't know about Leo. Leo was like the one out of the dogs. Whenever a dog, or whenever the puppies start fighting or something, he was the one that'll jump on the puppies that's fighting and break them up. Like, and they all respected him because he was the biggest male. He still is the biggest male. Stop playing with that girl, man. That girl gonna have a hard time. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, my God, y'all. This shit is amazing. She's so... Such a little pest. Them hood dogs are just so annoying. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so annoying. Big dogs be like, though, please. Please. He reminds me of Navy so much as far as size. He's bigger than his daddy was at this, uh, at this age. Taller for sure. All right, y'all. Catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Can we get 50 likes? Matter of fact, can we get 100 likes? There's 44,000 people on this page. 100 likes. I'll drop another video today. So I'm going to upload this video right now. If they get 100 likes, I will personally make sure I upload more videos today. Okay? If I can't scratch 100 likes, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.